Hey everyone, John David here. So in this video, I'm gonna try to explain why your 2020 iPad Pro and 2018 iPad Pro can't really get stage manager on the full monitor and why it doesn't really have a full monitor experience with iPad OS 16.2. It's kind of same thing. But before jumping into everything, I will show you two screenshots, one from my iPad and one of the monitor. And you need to look at that because there is a big thing hiding inside it. But anyway, if you are on the latest M1 chips or anything like that, you're getting the stage manager with full monitor support, then I made a full tips and tricks video on the stage manager with the full monitor support. Definitely check out that one. Okay, so now I'm gonna explain you why the older iPads are not getting the full monitor support like this. And there is a big reason why not. So first and foremost thing, you know about USB-C, okay? USB-C is pretty versatile, like we, know, we all know and love them. But there are differences between them. Like there are different protocol supports. This one has Thunderbolt port. That means it supports up to 40 gigabits per second data transfer speed. That is, a, that is the bandwidth, okay? Now in the case of iPad Pro 2020, it is 10, only 10 gigabits per second. And in the case of iPad Pro 2018, it is probably five gigabits per second. Now you're probably thinking, well, five gigabits per second is still great, right? Not exactly. So gigabits per second means if you convert that to gigabytes per second, where because we are talking about megabytes of data, right? Megabytes or gigabytes of data. So now if you convert that, convert that to gigabytes, then it comes down to only 1.2 gigabytes for the iPad Pro 2018 and about 2.5 for the iPad Pro 2020, whereas this one is capable of outputting about like the bandwidth is like five gigabyte per second. Now you're probably thinking what that does mean. So let me give you a small example. In the case of this mic, which I'm connected to, let's say this one. So let's say in the case of the mic that I'm currently recording in, it supports USB-B to USB-A cable. And that means the transfer speed is 480 megabits per second, not megabytes, okay? So that's actually pretty low and it's fine. But when you connect an SSD, let's say, an SSD can go up to one gigabyte, not one gigabits per second. So in that scenario, that's a lot of data transfer speed reserved for that SSD alone. Maybe a Samsung T7 would be a good example for that. Now let's come back to the display. Let's say you attached a 2K monitor. I showed you just a moment ago that one photo, one screenshot can be little like 14 to 15 MB even. So let's say I've even seen 20 MB, okay? So in the case of 20 MB, so it's 20 MB per second, right? No, that's not. Because the monitor, even though it's 120 Hertz, the iPad can only output 60 Hertz. So that means the monitor is refreshing 60 frames per second. So per second, there is 60 of those frames that you captured. So every single frames are 20 MB. And then you have 60 frames per second. So that means the data is insane. 1,200 megabytes per second. So, so it is about 1.17 GB. Now, if you don't know about that, you already have very little amount of bandwidth left, right? It is capable of 40 gigabits per second, not gigabyte per second, only five gigabytes per second. And you are already taking 1.17 gigabytes for the external monitor alone. Then let's talk about the older iPads. The iPad Pro 2018 only has 1.2 gigabytes. So you see how you're gonna have an, a 2K external monitor with that one. Now you're probably thinking, well, in the case of iPad mirroring, the 2020 iPad Pro also supports like 4K displays, right? You can mirror on a 4K display too. But there is a big difference between that because that's where the screenshots are not that huge. They're probably one or two MBs because there is no scaling of such, okay? So because that's, what, and that's why we see, you know, that's the only reason why we see like big fat icons of the iPad on a big screen. So if you connect to a big massive screen with the mirror mode on, everything is bigger because it is not scaled in any way. It is just mirroring what is seeing on the iPad. And that's the time, the if you just calculate it, it's 1.2 megabytes per second, right? No, 60 frames. So 60 into 1.2. So in that case, it will be 72 Mbps. So it needs 72 Mbps alone for that. So it is not as much huge, right? So it is not 1.2 gigabyte. It is only 72 Mbps or so. So in that case, any iPads, like even the iPad 10th generation or even iPad mini, they're also able to do that. 
you know that ipad air 4 is also capable of doing it the ipad air 4 and the ipad pro 2020 has the same kind of usb-c ports like 10 gigabit gigabits per second bandwidth one and so now if you talk about the ipad 10 generation and the ipad mini they don't even support that much they probably only have five gigabits per second so that's why they're not able to output that kind of images to that kind of displays so you get what i'm trying to say here so that's the only reason why the ipad pro 2020 and the ipad pro 2018 is not supporting all these things now there is one exception to this one the ipad pro 2020 is still really capable because it supports 2.5 gigabytes per second data transfer so you still have a lot of bandwidth left so it definitely can output a good stage manager experience on an external monitor with resolution of 1080p because that's where the scaling is default to the you know the zoomed one and it is not so heavy five or six mb per you know screenshot so that means 300 megabytes per second uh, data transfer is reserved for the monitor so in that case yes the ipad pro 2020 is capable enough of having the full external monitor support on a 1080p display not on a 2k display not at all because that while this will be in problem because then if you attach anything the ssd or anything else then that will not even recognize the thing right that ipad should support 1080p displays but hey apple is not going to do that because they recommend you to have at the very least 4k monitors that's their recommendation with ipad by 16.2 uh stage manager experience on an external monitor i know that is getting confusing because they recommend you 4k display so it is a little too like a downgraded experience or it is still not convincing enough for them to put in like a ipad pro 20 ready because it will make them look like oh yeah the stage manager on a monitor support only 1080p doesn't look that good so yeah it's not the best experience we can provide so we will not provide at all that's the their mantra that's the that's how they look at things this is the reality that's why apple is not providing you like the 2020 ipad pro and the 2018 ipad pro the stage manager with full external monitor support but they at least provided the stage manager because those chips were really capable like really 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 capable as the m1 ipads or m2 ipads so there's no point on denying that thing but they finally acknowledge that thing and they're saying like oh if we find a way to do it no you didn't find a way to do it you just did it that's simply as i can say because the a14 chip or a12 chip and the m series chips are no different they all are based on arm so the architecture is the same it's not x86 and arm silicon kind of things it's all of the same so it just rebranded to m series chips and have more power more capabilities unlocked better fabrication process node that's probably it. nothing else so i know this part is getting a little too technical you can skip this one so yeah that's probably my explanation and i think i'm totally right about it hopefully you can correct me if you know more than me so yeah that's about it if you want to see more episodes like this then definitely do like this video and do subscribe this channel. Also, visit my website, jointhevid.com, link down below. It's for everything. Right? You're gonna get all these and more techniques way, way faster than these videos. So definitely visit it. You can also find a lot of 8K wallpapers over there. So why not? Just visit it. Until the next episode, bye and take care.